Hello everyone. I hope everybody are fine on this super sending. So I have brought you another episode on this online teaching tool series for you. Since online teaching is on demand now, in the previous videos I discussed about how to use whiteboard tools effectively when you are taking the classes and also how you can use it to conduct assessments. Today I have come across an interesting topic which is about how you can create presentations very effectively so let's tune in now to learn about this in this video okay yeah so when we talk about powerpoint presentation so everybody comes to your mind that presentation can be made only using powerpoint yeah that is one of the standard and the most advanced effective software which is available when you want to present, create presentations whether you create a presentation for taking classes in your school or college or if you are a college student and you want to create a presentation to do some seminar or you are presenting your phd thesis or suppose if you are an entrepreneur and you want to present your business strategies via presentation so the first thing what comes to our mind is about only microsoft powerpoint well let me tell you there is other tool there are so many other tools or software which is available with which you can able to create presentations with ease one such tool we are going to learn today it's a free tool as well as it's a paid tool as well i mean in a free tool it comes across with some basic features but if you pay monthly few dollars if you just spend few dollars for it you may get all the features which is available to create a very interactive presentation tool so let's learn now so what you need to do is you just go to your browser and you need to type prezi.com p r e z i.com i hope many of you are aware about this maybe those who are not aware of this particular website so this is one of the best website where you can able to create a very very interactive and a very effective presentations and it will be very useful for especially for your businesses if you are Uh, creating presentation to market your tools or if you are an educator or a teacher and uh, if you want to prepare any lesson plans or if you want to teach about something you can explain using this very interactive tool which is available similarly if you are a student and uh, you want to present your seminars or online lectures or something if you want to give presentation you can use this prezi as the best tool Now this Prezi is very very popular and it works with almost all the apps you can work this with Zoom, Teams, Cisco Webex or go Google Meet open broadcasting software YouTube LinkedIn wherever you want you can use this particular software to present your uh, to give your presentations Now as I told you already Prezi is available at free of cost but the only thing is in free of cost you can only able to create the presentation and save it into your account but you may not be able to download it or you may not be able to use it offline so the only thing is you just have to log in into this website and uh, you can either log in using your google account or microsoft account or facebook or apple account whichever you want and it will give you all the features or all the tools which you can use to create a presentation but you may not be able to download it and you may not be able to uh, share it to anybody offline but if you want to use this particular presentation tool offline as well you need to spend some dollars so you can see here if you go to pricing tag so the pricing tag also it requires you um it it gives you a lot of options so first 14 days it will give you uh, for free you can use the 14 day trial and you can enjoy everything 
so if you want to create only the presentation you can use prezi present or if you want to make a very explainer video interactive explainer video you need to use prezi video or if you just want to design uh, some advertisement for your platform you can use uh, prezi design now every product has been fixed with a particular price tag this is for basic users this is for individual users and this is for student and educators if you are a teacher and or if you are a student you need to uh, give the credentials and you need to upload the proof of your educational status so that you can able to buy this with just 3 dollars per month 3 dollars is very 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 less just uh, at least it will come around just 250 rupees or something as per indian uh, currency or if you want to use it as a free trial you can use it for 14 days and if you like this you can purchase it later but for teachers and students they are providing at a very very less cost and this edu teams is for a team of teachers say for example uh, for higher education especially this type of tools is very useful like if you are taking classes for plus 1 and plus 2 or if you are taking classes for colleges this type of powerpoint presentation will be very very helpful for you if you want to take the classes or lectures or seminars or anything so they also offer uh, a package for a team of teachers or a team of students for a particular institution at a discounted price so if you want you can buy the package also but no uh, you don't have any intention to buy for an organization and if you are an individual what you can do is and if you are a teacher individual teacher means you should go to these options student and educators and you can purchase this a2 plus um, and uh, you can enjoy all the features which is available in making powerpoint presentations and this basic feature will come for free but you can only be able to make only five projects per month you may not be able to make more than five and as i told you already you can able to make only the ppt but you may not be able to save it offline you may not be able to share it with anybody or you may not be able to even give voice over or you may not be able to export it to pdf all those things you cannot do if you are using the basic version which is which is which is at free of cost but edu plus version will provide you everything almost everything the only thing is analytics you may not be able to Uh, view and advanced training if you want to get from prezi people you may not be able to get in edu plus because you need to do self learning you need to uh, try it on your own now let me show you how this works and why this is different from the normal powerpoint presentation why i am recommending this means in prezi it gives you it offers you numerous templates and those templates are amazing it it is with lot of graphic features and especially if you want to explain a huge concept like for example uh, if you are a social teacher or if you are taking economics or something there the concept will be too huge and to explain or to summarize it in just a uh, few minutes it will be very difficult for you but with the help of this presentation what you can do is you can make interactive presentation everywhere and it will be like a linked one let, let me show you the demo then you will you will be able to understand about it very clearly so let's start this just click on start your free trial and since i'm already on um, prezi so i don't have to fill all these details i just have to sign in so that i can able to uh, use this prezi i just i just log in in with my google account because already i have used this prezi for creating presentation so i will just click on my account google account and now it will take you inside the prezi so you just have to select their terms and conditions and uh, the minimum age to use this will be 13 years you must be about 13 years of age for them only it is recommended so you just click on start your free trial afterwards 
so it will enable you to use this particular edu plus version for trial and uh, if you want to purchase this for one year it will cost you around just 31 dollar so you if you want you can either pay with the paypal account if you have or you can use your credit card to do the payment now you just go to my dashboard since i am not interested now to pay so let me just go to my dashboard and i'll just show you how to create presentation using Prezi using the basic version now it will ask you a few things like are you an educator and which level you are teaching whether you are teaching for elementary or primary or middle school or for high school or upper secondary or for college or university or if you are a graduate you should use so now since I am teaching for upper secondary and high school so I have to click upper secondary and high school upper secondary and high school is nothing but uh, 10th and 12th okay and if you invite your colleagues i think there is a some some kind of offers they are giving that you may be able to win up to five thousand dollars if you uh, invite your colleagues as well to use prezi so you can just type their email id and send them the invitation link if you don't want to invite you just skip it and now if you want to give online lecture that is uh, with the help of video presentation so you need to click this so so many types of uh, templates are available in ready-made you can use or if you are planning to just give presentation you don't want to uh, give explainer videos then you select presentation option now you can see here so many elegant presentations are available in almost everything I mean in almost every every topics it is available right from your school lesson plans to the business presentations everything is available here now let me just take a science presentation since I am from science field so suppose if I want to do any uh, if you want to teach any topics of science or if you are doing any science project you should use this science project presentation or if you want to simply create presentation like uh, uh, social science timeline if you want to teach you can use this or there are so many wellness presentation history lesson presentation how it works presentation like this uh, so many are there if you want to see few more presentations you just click see all templates option so Prezi provides you nearly uh, tons of templates okay so many templates are available which you can able to use it now here it comes with various uh, categories like for example if you want to teach about education and non-profit you should select education and non-profit or if you are uh, planning out to do marketing presentation so you should select marketing sales and development or general means it will show you general presentations now let me just show you one presentation where uh, I'll help you out how you can prepare the presentation effectively okay let me just pick one presentation from this maybe from school side itself mm. no, just just give me a minute yeah better i'll use from here itself so many school presentations are there so let me just select this one science project presentation if you want, if you are planning out to uh, teach students about the science project which you are going to host so when you click on any template it will just load since i told you uh, i told you that it works purely on online basis so this presentation you can able to make only using online so you require a very good internet connection with a high speed internet connection then only you will you may be able to create the presentation uh, something happened just a minute
yeah so you can see here so many templates available so you can pick any one template and click on use this template option then you should give a title for your presentation so what you can do is uh, say for example if you are creating presentation related to science fair project so you can type it as science fair project and uh, who can see this presentation whether if i share it to a certain people and if you click on people i share with then it will share it to only those people okay whom you want to share this presentation but for that you need to pay but if you click on anyone on the web so anybody any public can view your presentation and they can also download it okay and that is free of cost so you can just click continue so that it will give you the template which they have already designed now after you get the template what you need to do is you need to just fine tune it you need to add your own contents like for example you can add your own text you can add your own images you can add your own videos or whatever the elements which you want to add to design your own presentation you can use it now look at this this is how it looks um, so this particular presentation is finished with just four slides so this is just a template if you want to insert one more slide also you can insert or if you want to add any other tool also you can add okay now listen if you're using basic version then it will come with watermark prezi watermark but if you purchase this tool that is the pro version then it will give you an option to add your own logo you can customize it on your own and uh, you can also remove their watermark okay now listen so if you want to add any text you click on add text option you just click here and uh, you can type anything like science fair project okay and if you want to add uh, any subtitle for it or like the name of the project so you click double click here now you write the name of the project like purification of water or hard water using plant products or using medicinal plants so if this is your topic then you should write the name of the topic and wherever you want to keep you can just move it okay and you can keep the title in a particular position medicinal plants so like this now listen so once you added the topic the next thing is here already they have given question procedure materials experimental results conclusion and discussion now in place of question if you want to change this particular title and if you want to add your own title so you can click here so when you double click here so it will take you to that particular slide so here what they have done is uh, they have created the presentation like a path okay when you switch to the next slide like how it zoomed in and took you to the next slide the same kind of effect it will show so inside this question slide so this is considered as a question slide inside the question slide they have designed two more tools where you can write question number one and question number two or your hypothesis right so that's how you know almost all their presentation works so it will be like a constructive layer so it will go uh, one by one In this if you want to change something like if you don't like this uh, image or if you don't like this color you can do the changes like for example you can see here fill color if you change it to some other color like red color so this particular circle will convert into that particular color or if you select the style presets so it comes with various presets this blue color presets or black color presets or maroon so something like that you know you can select any kind of colors if you want now here you just again double click and uh, you type the required Uh, subtitle which you want to give like what is the main question for this topic the main question for this topic is 
how to treat hard water effectively or how to purify hard water effectively what is hard water hard water is like the water which contains so many contaminants present in them likewise you can give the title and any other text if you want to add you can add now one more thing let me tell you when you create a presentation you must not add more descriptive contents you should make it very crisp you should make it very sharp very short and crisp then only you know the presentation will give you a professional look but if you add more contents over there more textual contents over there people may not like it what you need to do is you add just precise contents over there and when you are explaining that time what you can do you can take your own time and you can explain especially that's what happens when you go to any business presentation also the presentation will be quite simple they will only show you the some graphs or data and some numbers and that's it no other detailed descriptions will be there the detailed description will be explained by the speaker right so what you can do you can just type here uh, in this particular project our aim is to purify the water contaminants using medicinal plants so like this short and crisp you can write now if you don't like this font you can just click here so many other fonts are available okay um, you can use any font so that you can able to change it so you can see here if i use this font just a minute i need to select this and uh, now you click on this font mm, yeah so you can see here so the font is changing so depending upon your wish so you can change it to any other font and also you can increase the size of it suppose if you think it is too small to view you can increase the font size or you can decrease the font size as well okay and uh, if you want to give any other color to the font you can select any colors if you want to highlight a particular uh, point you can use highlighter tool you can use bulleting points you can use alignment is similar to that what you use in the powerpoint presentations now here if you want to add the question so you should add edit here and you can add any other question so likewise anything if you want to add you can add over here okay and if you feel this style is not good if you want to change it into some other style you can also use any other style or if you want to give any other background so you can click here so here so many images will be appearing okay these images are from are provided from the preset itself or if you want to insert your own image you can just go to upload image and you can insert your own image like for example here suppose if i search a term chemistry so it will give you the images which is related to chemistry and what you can just do is you can pick any one of the image as your background so that your presentation background will appear with that particular image right so now this feature again as i told you some free images alone you can able to access but you may not be able to access the premium images for premium images you need to pay so these are some of the free images which they are giving so if you want to use any one of these images you just click on those images now you can see here so the image background is changed throughout the presentation so here it will not be like for one slide one image uh -huh. so here it comes up with uh, you know uh, the same image will be utilized in the background for all the slides so the same way if you just zoom into this if you double click on this it will take you to the second slide where in the second slide what you can do if you want to add about procedure about the details which you are using like materials separately you can go inside and in the materials also you can add uh, what are all the materials which you are using like for example if i am using neem okay you can use neem 
you can type that and if you're using uh, uh, to test the contaminants in present in the water okay so if you're using a ph paper to check the acid acidity of water you can use ph paper so like this you know what are all the tools which you are using what are all the materials which you are using and uh, what are the medicinal plants which you are using to carry out this science fair project you can add so it's a very crisp everything is given in the template okay so likewise final conclusion slide you can see about what are all the things with which you want to conclude you can type something here and inside the conclusion you can give more detailed information and then similarly inside the discussion slide you can give about what are all the things we discussed uh, after doing this science fair project so it will be like an overview of everything what you have done now if you have completed designing your presentation very simple you just click on present option so in present option also a lot of options are available so if you click on start presentation so it will just start you like a normal presentation as you can see in the powerpoint and you can just start giving presentation so when you click on the next button so it will take you to the next slide okay so it will not be like you know uh, directly it will take you to the next slide so you need to come to the first slide okay so you can see here there is a button given below so like yeah it will start from the first slide and then when you click on this arrow it will take you to the second slide again when you click on the arrow it will take you to the third slide where whatever the content you have typed it will be visible then again it will come back it will take you to the fourth slide so like this you know step by step you can see how uh, cool it is i mean how um, it is made in a very uh, advanced graphic features that will help you to attract the viewers that will help you to convince the viewers with your presentation tools and uh, it is so lively and it is so uh, elegant that anybody can able to understand the way this presentation is designed and the way you explain also will be you know very helpful for the people those who watch this presentation so if you are struggling to design any presentation you can use this particular website to create very cool presentations and now if you want to share this presentation to people you just click on share and uh, you can click on view link so it will provide you a unique link so that uh, you can create your own link and you can share it to the people whom you want to share the presentation similarly if you want to convert this into video you can use this prezi video option so it will be like a video it will be converted like a video and whatever the presentation you have made it will be saved into your account in the online only because in prezi when you log in you usually log in with your email account right so in the email account only it will be saved so whenever you want you can access to your presentation mm, for that what you just need to do is you just click on menu and click on save option so your presentation will be saved in the cloud okay so whenever you want you can just go to the dashboard and you can pick your presentations so when you log in into the prezi it will show you the dashboard at first so in the dashboard what are all the projects which you have designed in the library even you just go inside the library it will show you all the presentation okay so i hope you guys like this video and uh, you can see here so your presentation is saved here so you can use it again if you want to do some editing also you can edit and use it again so i hope you like this features which is available in prezi at free of cost so if you are a teacher or an educator or if you are a college student you can definitely use this you can definitely try out this prezi tool so that you can give a very elegant presentation for your need so if you like this video please don't forget forget to subscribe to my channel okay so thank you everyone see you in the next episode